With the Commonwealth controversy still actually under the national spotlight, a lot of people are wondering how this could impact Virginia beyond the capital in Richmond. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell joins us in the studio tonight with a closer look at that issue. Jessica? John, this says it all. The front page of the New York Post last week reading, Virginia is for losers. A stinging slogan brought about by scandals still swirling around the Commonwealth's top leaders. While we wait to see how this all shakes out in the political world, many are starting to wonder what it could mean for Virginia as a whole. Virginia politics still in turmoil tonight as each of the Commonwealth's top three Democrats deals with his own scandal. It's a public relations nightmare for the leaders that could be turning into one for all Virginians. The conflicts prompting this stinging slogan, not Virginia is for lovers, but Virginia is for losers. So could this branding hurt the Commonwealth's economy? We went to experts at a local advertising agency that specializes in economic development and crisis management to find out. Jennifer Eddy says she doesn't anticipate big impacts on tourism, but... On the economic development front, it's sort of a different story. She says chaos in the capital could keep businesses from setting up shops statewide. The companies know they're making a, um, a big investment. They're choosing between regions and they're going to have a lot of political will um, either behind them or against them when they move into a new area. A sentiment echoed by Commonwealth business consultant John Boyd. It's good news for the Carolinas. It's good news for Georgia. It's good news for Florida. It's good news for the states that Virginia is competing with. The branding could also scare off would be employees. And that's everything you don't want to see if you care about job growth and attracting millennials and attracting a workforce. The true economic impact remains to be seen, but in the meantime, Eddie says it's on all of us to restore the state's slogan to its former glory. None of us are a one-man band. There are many, many people that are working very, very hard to do great work um, in economic development, in tourism, in messaging for the state. We've talked about all the calls for resignation from lawmakers on the local, state and national levels. We haven't seen any of that from the business community yet, but experts say it's only a matter of time. In studio, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.